Holon Sukkus Zide Sea Cables project is part of the NetOpsA program of Tenet. This offshore connection connects the Holon Sukkus Zide offshore wind farms to the onshore high voltage grid. It's split up in the alpha and beta connection, each with a capacity of 700 megawatt power to design, produce, transport and install the required 168 kilometers of high voltage cables. A consortium is formed by Van Ord and Hellenic Cables. Hellenic Cables in Greece produces the impressive long cables. Over the course of a 12-month period, the facility produced, tested and delivered the first two subsea power cables. Each cable consists of three cores and three fiber optic cables. The Alpha C cables, weighing approximately 4,000 tons each, are transported to the Valhaven in Rotterdam. There, the cables will be loaded onto Van Ord's cable lay vessel, Nexus, for offshore installation. The scope of work is to manufacture and install four sea cables between the platforms and the new built land station. To complete these projects more efficient and economically, Tenet uses the same standardized cable systems and platforms. Today, the first offer cable is transferred from the transport barge onto the cable installation vessel, the Nexus. The cable weighs around 100 kilo per meter, with a length of 42 kilometers, having a total weight of around 4,000 tons. And the unique thing about this cable is that it is produced in one length, avoiding the need to have an additional offshore joint for Tenet. At the Van Ord office in Horkham, a team of engineers carefully prepares and monitors the process. The challenges for us in this project is to install uh, the cable up to five meters depth near a busy port with two major unknowns being the uh, soil condition and the weather. The deep digit is a cable trencher, which is a machine which buries the cable up to five meters below the soil. The Hollandseco site project was his first project. Deep dig it buries the cable by uh, putting a lot of water into the soil and thereby it fluidizes the soil which allows the cable to sink into the soil and thereby come to the right depth. In the meantime, a team of engineers works on the pulling of the first cable onshore at the Mass Vlakta. Today we are here to pull in the first cable out of four, the so-called Alpha 1 cable. That will be the start of the sea cable campaign of HKZ. You see here the pull-in pits where the sea cable will arrive and where the cable will be split into three separate cables that will move on to the land station here on site. You see behind me the winch that pulled with a maximum of 40 tons the cable through the HCD duct. If they pull the cable through, they seal the ends of the HCD duct, the pipe on both sides, so both on the vessel side as on the land station side, and they fill it with water to cool the cable. This project will be important to connect the second major wind farm of the Netherlands to the coast, and it will be finished in 2022. This wind farm will produce energy for about 700,000 households. The cables cross the busy entrance of the port of Rotterdam. To safely cross the intersection, the cables need to be buried deep in the seabed. With its unique design and power, the deep digit buries the cable with a speed of 250 meters per hour. It's controlled from Van Ord's offshore installation vessel, MPI Adventure. Four sea cables of 168 kilometers length in total are installed under the seabed transporting 1,400 megawatt power to shore. By 2023, Tenet aims to achieve 3,500 megawatt of capacity to transport the energy from the offshore wind farms to shore. By collaborating closely, Tenet, Van Ord and Hellenic Cables successfully connected the Holland Sukkus side offshore wind farms to the Dutch energy network. Holland Sukkust Zeit is a major step forward in the energy transition.